Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today, guys, on this Sunday, August 11th, 2024. It is 9, 12 a.m. Eastern time as I'm speaking and recording. Praise God for what's been a beautiful weekend. Going to get today's video in, going to get showered up, dressed up, and head up and just continue to praise and worship him. Amen. Thank you guys for joining, and I continue to I just continue to thank you, and I continue to praise God for every one of you. As we're growing, man, guys, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing again. This is not about this channel. It's not about me. It is about the kingdom of God. It's about the body of believers, the family of Christ coming together as one. If I'm not going to get in there. The body, the body is still very broken. The body is still very broken. But with the power of the Holy Spirit in you and in me together, we can start bringing it back together. It may not be for our generation. It may be generations of follow guys, but no matter what, we continue to press forward. Amen. So today, again, thank you so much. Praise God. Part two of doing and being. And I skimmed across this one, folks. I always got to just for the backgrounds. And this is almost a, a repeat of yesterday of, a, of what God had put on my heart to share and talk about. So we're going to get it in us again. There's some new things in here, but a lot of it sounds very familiar from yesterday. Um, doing and being part two and the important part, that Holy Spirit medicine, Philippians chapter two, verses 12 through 18 is what I've got highlighted in our lead off verses, Philippians chapter two, verse 13, guys. And this has been coming up for me personally a lot. This has been coming up a lot. And I'm going to read it in the New King James. For it is God who works in you. It is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure, known as God working in us for his glory, folks. We've said that many times. But uh, Philippians 2.13 in a message uh, reads this way. That energy is God's energy, an energy deep within you. God himself willing and working at, will, at what will give him the most pleasure. Amen. And that does not mean we have our ace. We have a selfish God. <laughs> you, we're, you know what? We could debate on that one. We're not going to. I, sometimes I like to think my God is selfish, that he will do anything. He did. He did everything to get me back. He did everything to get you back. He's selfish. He wants you. He wants you. Does not need you, but he does want you. Amen. That's another. That's another sermon. Praise, <laughs> praise God. So part two, folks, let's do this. So continuing on. How do you prevent your daily pace of accomplishing your to-dos from stealing your joy and peace of being? I believe yesterday we talked about first thing in the morning, get with God, have him go over your to-do list. You know, we had the Bible, the cup of coffee and the pen and paper. And guys, again, you guys, you know me by now. If I see a background with some coffee in it, it's, it's, it's getting put up. But our title, you know, making room. The second way is to realize your limits. Realize your limits. I think for most of us that are the people pleasers and the, the constantly running, we don't know our limits. We think we're limitless. Yes, I know through Christ I can do all things. I can do all things. Guys, let's, let's just keep reading. You may not get everything done in one day. I remember my dad. And folks, yesterday I made a comment about my dad. He worked. I was not bashing the man. That man worked hard to give us what we had. But here's another one reminds me of my father. You may not get everything done in one day. He used to tell, mom used to always tell him, Michael, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. His response was, that's because I wasn't there. <laughs> God says, is that your mindset? That things ain't getting done and getting done fast enough or right enough because you're not there? You might want to step back and take a dose of that humility pill out of the Bible. Uh, take a look at the tasks listed. And if necessary, Pair them down to a manageable number. Spoke on that yesterday. Make a list and then go through. Some of that stuff you can just cross off. Some of that stuff you need to give to somebody else. It's okay. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Admitting and confessing, hey, I can't do this on alone. I think God says for when I am weak, or the Bible says when I am weak, then I am strong. Because then we're relying on God 100%. Um, sometimes it's necessary to allow others to help share the load you bear. I think we've said that a few times yesterday and today. And John Wesley said, though I am always in haste, I am never in a hurry. 
because I never undertake more than I can go through with calmness of spirit. Praise God, John Wesley. Guys, and a lot of us look busy. God, a lot of us are so busy just looking busy. I, I work with many guys like that. They work, they work harder to get out of work than they do actually doing the task. Just see what the task is ahead of you. Not talking to, just at work in everyday life. What is the task ahead of you? Pray. Approach it. Ask God to help get you through it and conquer it. Um, there we go. Ask God for ask God for guidance and what not to do. Ask him the things. Hey, God, help me scratch this list. Help me whittle it. Like we said, help me pare this list down. Let me whittle it down. Let me take this log of to-do list and help me whittle it down to a toothpick. Amen. Third, be wise in the things you choose to do. Oh, my. Don't try to be a people pleaser by saying yes to things you really don't have time to do. Folks, and that was me. That's probably many of you watching. I was the yes man, especially when I first gave my life to Christ. I could not serve enough. I would double dose. I mean, I'd be serving at two different things at the same time. Just, But I was trying to please man. I wanted the pastor to see me. I wanted the people at that church to see me. Hey, Todd's the first name on the list. Guys, I get it. You get excited to serve the Lord. Just, just get along with him. Just get along with him. I mean, actually make a physical list of what you need to do. God, Holy Spirit will definitely give you uh, give you guidance. Instead, pray for, prayerfully consider the opportunity before you, and when necessary, just say no. Let your answer. I think the Bible says, "Let your answers be yes or no." Everything in between is of the wicked one. It's okay to say no, folks. It is okay. And it's become more comfortable for me. Why? Because now I can do the things God is calling me to do to get me where he wants me to be for his glory. Philippians 2.13. Fourth, leave time in your schedule for the unexpected. Um, uh, where we at? Like giving your son a ride to school when he misses the bus. Instead of being frustrated about this interruption in your schedule. Guys, I'm laughing because I have a feeling that so many of us want, and it may not be your son on the guys fill in the blanks. I could say, you know what? Last night, personal uh, personal example for me, folks, I finished this class I'm doing. I took the last course. I took the exam. I got a chapter to read when I get home from church. Todd's plan is to have a relaxed afternoon. Should something come up, somebody would call me and need me, I'm probably going to sigh. I'm probably going to take a deep breath, but then I'll say, God, thank you. Thank you that I can actually go and do this. If he guides me to say yes, again, it's okay to say no. Um, turn your attention and love to the child sitting next to you in the car. I, I believe we're called to serve, folks. It's more important that you be with him than it is that you get your laundry done today. <laughs> God is awesome. I just finished folding my laundry and putting it away. That's part of my Sunday morning routine. I wash it, I dry it, I fold it, I put it away all within about a two-hour span. That's not trying to rush and hurry. It's just getting it done. Amen. Rest easy in those unexpected moments together. Guys, I love this one. This one's got me laughing because this is what we do. We are We are in such a hurry to go nowhere. We are in such a hurry to absolutely get nowhere. And then when you do hurry and you get to that point, you're kind of like, okay, well, now what? I didn't really expect it to go this well. Guys, we need to expect it to go that well because it's God working in us and through us for his will, for his good pleasure. We just read that. I'm not making this up. So, guys, I think a lot of us need to step back, take a breath, count to seven, get alone with God. Let's work on that to-do list. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. It's okay to ask for help, guys. We got to do this thing. So thank you so much for joining me until tomorrow, Monday the 12th, back to my eight-hour days. Praise God. Uh, we'll see what the Lord says tomorrow. I love you guys.